Hello friends, welcome to a very special video. I have been wanting to talk about this for a very long time, but I couldn't. Some of you may know that Black Oxygen Organics, an MLM that we have talked about often on this channel, has recently shut down. If you didn't know, uh, hey, boo shut down. You may have also noticed that it's been a good, like, I don't know, six weeks since I talked about boo, and that is because I got a cease and desist letter. So, since Black Oxygen Organics has ceased operating, operations. I've spoken to my lawyer and he said it's reasonable for me to publicly talk about this now. So what I'm going to do here is I am simply going to just read the letter. Nothing else. No opinions, no commentary. I just want this to be its own thing. Obviously, this is a very serious manner, so I do implore you to get the giggles out. This is very important. This is not a joke. No funny business here. Extremely serious stuff. Before we get started, though, I am going to pour myself a glass of wine. Please excuse me. If you've been here a while, you may know that my favorite wine is Stella Rosa, but they didn't have it at the store, so I saw this wine. It's got Snoop Dogg on it. I'll let you know how it is. My official review of the Snoop Dogg wine is that the first taste is actually quite good. The aftertaste is a little questionable though. Now that we have our Snoop Dogg wine, please grab a snack, grab a glass of wine of your own, sit back and relax to the dulcet tones of my cease and desist letter sent by Black Oxygen Organics. Cue the music please. <coughs> via certified mail, which by the way, I never signed for, just showed up in my mailbox, and via regular US mail. The title of this letter is Demand to Cease and Desist Publication of Defamatory and Disparaging Statements About Black Oxygen Organics. They spelt my first name wrong. I literally just noticed that. This is not funny. This is very serious. They put one N in my name. There's two. This law firm represents 11578243 Canada Incorporated D slash B slash A I don't know what that means. Black Oxygen Organics and Black Oxygen Organics USA Incorporated. Collectively, Black Oxygen Organics, or the company, regarding certain actions by you that violate the company's legal rights. In particular, you have published numerous false, defamatory, and disparaging statements about the company. These statements are false, and you have published them either with knowledge of their falsity or recklessly without any investigation into the truth or falsity of the statements. On behalf of Black Oxygen Organics, I am writing to demand that you immediately cease and desist from publishing defamatory and disparaging statements about the company. At a minimum, this includes the removal of the YouTube videos referenced below, as well as a robust correction, clarification, or retraction of the following false and defamatory statements or implications. Number one, in a video posted to YouTube and dated August 27, 2021, titled Black Oxygen Organics, the MLM that sells dirt, you, A falsely or recklessly imply that the company's product comes from this is serious <laughs> <clears throat> falsely or recklessly imply that the company's product comes from poop and stuff b falsely or recklessly imply that the company illegally extracts mud from protected wetlands, is destroying natural environments, and is not sustainable and extremely damaging. C. Falsely claim that the company's product was not clean and is contaminated by trash. D. Falsely claim that the company's product likely contained microscopic Helmet eggs, which are an agent for a worm disease called helminthiasis. This one is my favorite one, but it's still very serious and not a joke. E. Falsely imply that the eggs got there from wastewater, sludge, and excreta. Poo poo. F. Falsely claim that company CEO Mark Saint Ange, in which they also, I'm just realizing now, spelt Mark's name wrong, spelt it with a K at the end instead of a C, falsely claimed that company CEO Mark Saint Ange is doing as little as possible to make the mud safe and implied that people are having serious side effects from ingesting worms that are in the product. G. 
falsely claim that the company has damaged the ecosystem and that there is obviously a lot of unethical stuff going on. H. Falsely claim that the company has sketchy business practices. I. Republished a disparaging claim that the company was a shit pile. J. Republished a false claim that the company was doing something unethical. K. Falsely imply that the company's product contains a high percentage of a byproduct of the landfill right next door. Excuse me. No L. Republished the false claim that the company's certificate of analysis is fake. M. Falsely claimed that the company's product sampled in the COA was taken from next to a landfill. N. Falsely claimed that the lab report shows two industrial contaminants, K2O and P2O5, one making up over 17% of the sample tested. O. Falsely claimed that the company's product may be toxic and that the product sampled was pulled from an environment that contains some sort of toxic waste. P. Falsely claim that 17% of the product is made from a known toxin and is basically poison and that the product is toxic dirt. Q. Falsely imply that the product contains worms. R. Falsely claim that the company's product causes blisters, rashes, general irritation, mouth sours, mucous membrane irritation, and is so unsafe. S. Implied that the product causes people to shed their intestinal lining. T. Falsely claim that the company's product is giving people sores at best, and intestinal lining shedding at worst. U. Falsely claim that the company targets vulnerable people and that people who use the product are desperate. That is the end of the complaint from video number one. I hope you all are enjoying this read and that you are relaxing. Number two. In a video posted to YouTube and dated September 22nd, 2021, titled, I snuck into a boo corporate call. You. A. Falsely imply that the extraction side of the company's product is right next to a landfill. B. Falsely reject the claim that the extraction site is like 15 miles away from the nearest landfill. C. Falsely claim that the extraction site was a landfill bog and a toxic waste place. D. Falsely claim that consumer of the company's products are, yes, I read that statement correctly. That was um, exactly how it was written on the page. They are literally just eating dirt and shitting out their intestinal lining and then referred to that claim as a fact that is happening. E. Falsely claim the extraction site is really close to a landfill and that the company is trying to hide it. G. Falsely reject the contention that false and defamatory claims by haters have caused false reporting to government agencies. H. Falsely state that the company did not even think about compliance. I. Falsely imply that the company is going against federal regulation. J. Falsely claim that the company is hurting people and bankrupting people. Excuse me. Okay. Falsely claim that the scientific data which shows the benefits of the product isn't actually science. L. Falsely claim that the increased sales are based on vulnerable people thinking, oh, but this magic mud can cure my cancer, so I'll buy that. M. Falsely claim that the company clearly didn't have experienced MLM corporate executives before the compliance call. N. Falsely claim that the company was making these crazy health claims and hurting people financially and physically and medically. <clears throat> the company expects your immediate compliance with this letter. If you fail to immediately comply, 
The company is prepared to initiate legal proceedings against you and seek recovery of all damages caused by your publication or republication of the defamatory and disparaging statements noted above. Please be advised that Black Oxygen Organics reserves all of its rights, both at law and in equity. Your failure or delay in complying with this letter will likely compound the damages the company seeks to recover from you. Any communications regarding this letter should be directed to me and not to Black Oxygen Organics. Your prompt compliance with this letter is anticipated. Sincerely, C. Brenton Cugler. CBK slash LF, whatever the fuck that means. If you were just meditating to that or perhaps taking a nap, you may now open your eyes because that is the end of the letter. But that is not the end of the story. You see, because this is simply part one of the story, because for the past six weeks, seven weeks? I don't know, a long time. I've not been able to talk about any of this, any of the shit that has happened in Black Oxygen Organics since I received this letter. Now that the company is shut down, however, I feel like I have a lot to talk about. The next video in this series is going to be my response to the cease and desist letter. I wrote a 52 page long response in which I went point by point in all of those things I just read to you. My lawyer edited it down a little bit. He called it my magnum opus. I would like to read it to you guys because quite frankly, I believe it is a true work of art and a work of fart and I need you all to hear my magnum opus. So that will be coming very soon. And of course, I'd also like to talk about why Black Oxygen Organics shut down and the ongoings that led up to it and what has been going on since then. But those are all things that are going to require their own separate videos because it's just that much crap. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be giving a shout out to my patrons and my members now. These are my financial supporters and they gain access to our private Discord server. Pippi, please, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to thank important people. Oh yeah, that's kind of weird. We don't have Pop-Tart today, we have Pippi. You guys don't see Pippi very often, but she's here. Anywho, these people get access to our Discord server. We also have a monthly postcard club. Early access to videos. You will be getting early access to this video, my patrons. Yes, you will. So if any of that sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash Marie, or you can click the join button beneath this video. Either one works well, whatever platform you want to use. And with that, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Elizabeth Wyatt, Nitty Dragon, Leanne, Mary Ann Barajas, Meredith Nakata, Molly Wasilewski, Tiff C, Turd Ferguson, Alice W, Amanda Shannon, Amy Huffman, April Lindblom, Boris Keller, Casey Scraper, Katrina Rosemarick, Claire T, Danae Twitchell, Daniel Urena, E. Higgins, Eric Lauderkratic, Jerry Duncan, Heidi Hall, Julia Wheeler, Kelly Crefield, Kim Cartwright, Laura Lynn Martin, Lizzie McQueen, Maddie Darley, Rachel McHenry, Samantha Jackson, Stephanie Hell, Tuesday the 13th, Colin F., Jess Cronfeld, Krista Scantlin, Sarah Fisher, Liz Plantacy, Jay Marie, Tiffany Brust, Auntie Lou, Fallon Lowry, and Sabrina Franklin. And to the rest of my fabulous patrons and my members, thank you so much for being here and being you. And even if you're not a financial supporter of mine, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I just thought I heard fire burning behind me, but it was just my other cat laying on a plastic bag. Hey guys, thank you for putting up with me the past few weeks. It's been very hard for me to not talk about this, but now don't worry. Here comes a boo content dump for you. And I'm also still working on that very deep, deep dive. Lots to look forward to. We're going to be ending 2021 with a bang here on this channel. I do appreciate you so much. Keep making waves, babes. I'll smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami.